Hey everyone, in this video we will look at the pros and cons of having a single date dimension in our data model in Power BI. So here I've not joined the data model, but what I've done is I've already just used the dates in the fact internet sales table for now. And we look at how the values look like. So we've got uh, sales in the first uh, table. Here we've got sales amount by order date, sales amount by ship date year, and sales amount by due date year. So all I've done is I've uh, basically uh, combined the amounts by year, the sales amount by order date, by ship date, and by due date. Now let's say we uh, just use one uh, date dimension table. So what happens is that when we have one date dimension table and we join it, uh, or we reuse it again and again to join to multiple dates, we can only have one relationship, which is the active relationship, and the other relationships become inactive relationships. So if I right click here, or so let me double click this one, and you can see that this one is on the ship date field. And uh, let me just double click this again. And you can see this is the active relationship, this arrow is ticked at the bottom. And we'll just quickly open the other two. So this is a not an active relationship, this is an inactive relationship, and you can also uh, see this through the dotted lines. And similarly, this line is also an inactive relationship, as you can see th that this arrow, uh, this uh, uh, checkbox is unchecked and it's a dotted relationship. Now what happens is that if we have just one uh, date dimension table and we reuse it to join multiple date fields, the amount only gets, uh, so you can only see the amount by the active relationship. So in this case, it is the ship date. So if we toggle back and forth, so let's just toggle here and you can see, so by ship, uh, so this is the uh, by ship amount. So you can see 6,978,000. So I'll just quickly toggle and you can see the amounts match. Now, so for order date, let's say if I go back here in my model and make this relationship, um, let's check if this is the order date relationship. Nope. Let's open the next one and we'll make that relationship active. And it, you can see it doesn't let us make it active till we make the other relationship inactive. So we first have to go in and check it here. Hit OK. And then we go over here and make this one active and click OK. And now if we go and see our reports, you can see the amounts have changed. So now it is grouping by the uh, order data order date which is this you can see 2010 43421 and now let's say just for the sake of example now we want to do it by due date so we need to make this relationship inactive and then make this relationship active and hit ok so you can see that the amounts have changed again, which is the same as the by due date here. So now let's just quickly go ahead um, and look at the data model. So if we just use one date dimension without using it as a role playing dimension, uh, the data model looks a lot simpler, but you've got these active and inactive relationships and depending on what you want to make active, uh, you have to change your data model. You can uh, leverage DAX uh, and force a context evaluation, but specifically when anyone who doesn't know DAX and tries to slice and dice, it will slice and dice based on the active relationship. So it's a, it's a trade-off between uh, how clean you want your data model versus uh, how much complexity you want to add in your data model. So uh, there's no right answer. It depends on a uh, case by case basis. So in this video, we looked at what happens when we have a single date dimension and we use it to join uh, across multiple date fields uh, in a fact table. Uh, I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.